Hi, I'm Lana Kelly, and this is Hudson Valley Art Speak, and um, thanks a lot for tuning in today. Um, we're going to be talking to Brian Saltern today, and, and Brian's been a guest before, but he is doing some new work and going in some new directions, so I thought it was time to have him come back. So thanks, Brian. It's good to see you again. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. So um, I am really taken by these um, paintings that you're doing. Uh, these, I, I'm calling them the dance paintings. Mm -hmm. um, they just seem so exuberant and full of life to me. Dancing was always important to me. It's something I still do. In fact, I just went to a, a swing dance the other night up here in, um, uh, on Route 41 in the ranch house, I believe it is, the barn. And, uh -huh. uh, I love dancing, and uh, so I, it's a natural progression. I mean, I always like painting dancers. And so if, if we were looking at, at the painting that's behind me, what is the name of that? Wild Night Out. Wild Night Out. So um, is, is that what you see when you go to the swing dances? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wanted it to, to be literally Wild Night Out, where you know you see a kangaroo and a deer and a cow and a snake and a bobcat and all kinds of things. A monkey is DJing. Yeah. Uh, just a play on that, because they always have girls night out or, or something like that. or. Uh, so I thought it was Wild Night Out, where the animals got in free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Um, so this is a departure, though, um, from some of the other work that I've seen that you've done, which was more, um, a little more bucolic, uh, you know, fields and, and, you know, the stream out in, the, in your yard and the deer in the, in the woods. It's funny, when I just, I just, I, I mentioned before, I just started painting about five years ago, and, and so I'm, I'm constantly looking, um, they say you have to paint five or 10,000 hours before you find your voice. Uh, I'm looking to expand uh, whatever it is I paint, and, um, you know, and I don't know if I found my voice, because I enjoy painting almost uh, everything, although people seem to like animals in my paintings a lot. Um, and, and so I try to include them, but I don't know if I want to just limit it to that. Uh, well, I love the juxtaposition, though, of the people with the animals and, and uh, just the, that whole craziness that's going on in there. It's so important today, too, with the, all the animals growing, becoming extinct. Uh, and I mean, even I have a, I had, it, I brought it um, a little shadow box I made about the plight of the bumblebees. Uh, uh -huh. And it's just horrendous that, you know, uh, they're, they're slowly dying off because of insecticides or whatever the problem is. Uh, but it's a, it's a real problem. Uh, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, and butterflies, all those things. It's just so disheartening to me. Um, and so I want to make statements about that in, in my art. Uh, I, I did, I have another painting that's not here, at, uh, of bumblebees in the city, and just just trying to show the importance of, of, of bumblebees in, um, in our life. Well, they're important to our food supply, which yeah. what could be more important? <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Tell me a little bit about the painting, Flying. Um, this I call, well, I called Into the Light. Into um, the Light. I, I, I do a lot of spiritual work, I mean, on, by myself, not in, in a group per se, but, um, and it's just about focusing on light instead of darkness, and, uh, and I, I, I'm just fascinated with angels and elves and fairies and all kinds of, um, of, of uh, extra, uh, I don't know if you say terrestrial, but, um, you know, just any kind of, uh, spiritual presence, we'll say, and I'm uh -huh. trying to capture that in my paintings, uh, capture in, in fact, in, in this other one, which is a jitter, auric jitterbugging, I have different names for it, yeah. Jitter, jitterbugging through, the, uh, or astral jitterbugging, um, you know, I tried to show that there's, you know, the space between us is just as live as we are, I mean, we're filled with atoms, and there's atoms right here, right. and, uh, and I just wanted to 
to, I had it di different in there with the streaks that I'm trying to find. I'm trying to define those in paintings. I'm trying, it's, a, it's been a hard process in a sense, so I'm still finding my way in it. Um, but just trying to put that on canvas or put that feeling on canvas. Right. Uh, it's, but I, I think I'll figure it out. Uh, I'm sure people have done it already, but. Uh, well, I, I think it's a huge subject, and I think it would be really hard to capture on paintings. Yeah, just the same as time and all those um, sensorial things. Um, yeah. I was out taking photographs the other day, and I had stopped by the side of the road because I kept seeing these old buildings there. So I was photographing the old buildings, and um, you know I work with the DSLR, and and I always look through the viewfinder, but there is also the LED screen on the back of the camera. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking through the camera, I could see something in the LED screen, and I thought it was a man, and I thought it was a man in work clothes standing behind me, and I couldn't believe when I turned around there was nobody there. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, is this the farmer that lived there in the house, or? Really? Yeah, it was really pretty spooky. I find this um, spiritual practice I do, I mean, says that we all have those abilities. I mean, Christ had said that, that, you know, you can be like me, basically, or you have all the powers that I do. And and that is this, the, uh, the third eye being able to see, and one uh -huh. can see, you know, we all have that ability, whether we bring it out or not, it takes practice. It's just like anything else, exercising a muscle, mm -hmm. but um, we can see those things. Um, and that's what audio, um, uh, you know, any of those, um, now I'm losing my thought, uh, audio, uh, auto clarence or something uh -huh. like that. Auto, uh -huh. Yeah, audio clarence. Okay. okay, well let's just shift a little bit Which and um, look at the puck painting. Uh, I again, I like um, I like elves and fairies, and uh, I mean Puck has to be one of my favorite characters uh, in literature, and and I just want to do something whimsical because I can get too serious and intense sometimes, and uh, and you know it just came to me that I I, I wanted to paint it, and uh, and I was pleased that it did uh, that I did, and it came out the way I wanted it to, but I. You know, again, I don't want to uh, just keep, uh, put myself to in one area or whatever. I want to, I mean, I, I don't want to be just known as someone who paints elves and fairies, we'll say, or <laughs> right. just animals. I mean, yeah, I, like, yeah. I like a lot of different things. Um, well, I, I think that um, the way you paint them is, is very different also. It's, it's, they're not... Um, Little pristine elves and fairies. I mean, they're they're very earthy and 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 seem to have their own personalities, really. I I just did another shadow box with all the brushes that I've ruined or <laughs> <laughs> used up already. And uh, a friend of mine, Michael Jalali and Tilly Strauss, they always laugh about it because I I really get into some at times. I really I I. I attack the painting with force at times and uh, I think it's called noodling or something but uh -huh. they used to get such a kick out of seeing the ends of my brushes all smashed in all kinds like of stubs. weird shapes <laughs> yeah stubs and most of them end up with no um, no brush left at all yeah but, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I know one thing that you're also doing is you're, you're um, painting on furniture and, and doing different pieces like that. Yeah, I've loved these. I occasionally, in the Antique Center, we're, um, we're partners with, you know, 34 other people in this Millerton Antique Center, but in our area, um, I constantly come across old um, wood wooden things that are you know, they, it's nice in their originality, in their original shape, but um, some of them are so far gone. And, and when that happens, I really like to uh, reclaim it, sort of, and mm -hmm. paint it. So I have a, you know, I painted chipmunk and a rabbit, and, uh, and people seem to like them. I mean, they sell at the Antique Center uh, um, a box, I think, and uh, a few other things. And then I painted chairs. Uh, 
you know, when it's one of a kind and it's, you know, the, mm -hmm. the one I'm thinking of, uh, I made into a, the middle slat and the chair I made into a sort of a dancer, a valet, a woman anyway. Yeah. Uh, because the chair was sort of not uh, usable as it was, but I, I glued it back together and uh, I love when I find things like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you probably see a lot of things that, that you can transform like that in, in the antique store or, well, you know, um, that might, might come in or you might see or people might consider them junk, but you take them and give them a new life. I rehabilitate them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, another one. I uh, there was a you know a, a wooden a, a woman just with her two two pieces of wood coming out like that. I think you have it there on your uh -huh. notes. Um, and I made that into like the coat check girl, or she's holding, and I, I have a glass there. To, it's an umbrella holder. Oh, that's uh, great. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there, you can't get out what you want. What the work you put into it in a sense, like well, you can't charge that that's much. part of being an artist, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it's just um, true. You know, let me ask you, um, is there some place right now where people can see your work? I have a website, uh, briansalternart.com. Um, that's S-A-L-T-E-R-N-B-R-I-A-N. Um, if you just Google my name, um, and, and, you know, I'm constantly working on that or updating it and all, but most of my paintings are there. Um, and do you have any of your work at, besides the furniture, at the antique? I, uh, we have to constantly place. change change it around, the, you know, our space. And so occasionally I'll have uh, my paintings up. And I've sold a few, which yeah. is it's pretty exciting yeah. when somebody who doesn't know you whatsoever and just comes in. And, and sometimes it's a dealer from another, you know, from Massachusetts. Actually, I'm thinking of the one, uh, a dealer from Massachusetts bought it. So that means right. she's probably going to raise the price and sell sure, it. Sure, um, sure. Well, it'd be great to get your name yeah, around, yeah, you know. I am, yeah, 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 I just like selling it. Yeah, so, so um, we've come to an end of our time. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that goes quickly. I know, we didn't quite get to cover everything we thought we were going to cover, yeah. but um, it'll give us give you a reason to come back another time. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks Thank a lot, so Brian. Much. It was good I to really talk to you. It. Thank you.